So I hope we're not going to bore you with our presentation. <laughs> uh, my name is Narkis and this is Danielle. Today we're going to talk to you about Zeze, which means in Hebrew, this is it. It's a community organization led by young people that are using their natural talent for volunteering. Um, but before we're going to tell you about the organization, what we do, we're going to tell you a bit what uh, our personal story, what made us to do so. So, three years ago, I uh, finished uh, the army and then I worked in business development in a startup company. Um, it was going very well, but then I went to do the traditional journey that Israelis do after the army. So I was in Central America traveling and while I observed my life, I realized that I don't really like my life. And the reason for that was although I was very privileged, I realized that I'm not really using my natural talent, I'm not really using it in my daily life. And in addition, I'm not really using my resources and all the privilege I got for a greater cause. So it's actually pretty boring. And I started observing a lot of young people around me and I noticed a lot of young people I know are in the same situation. Young people from my environment um, that were in youth movements and care about society, but actually in their leisure time they didn't really do something for changing it. Although we had time, no children, and a passion. So I thought, why, did, why is that? Why do we have people that are not doing it? And I realized that social engagement is not something that is accessible for young people that are not looking for it. So if you want to be socially involved as a young person, you need to look for it. And even if you look for it, most chances, most chances when you go to an NGO, they will offer you a volunteering position that is not suitable to your natural talent and passion. So it's not so attractive for young people that are not initially engaged. And then I thought, we have a unique value proposition as young people. We have a passion, we, we want to gain experience in our passion, and we have time. And if the social sector would only tap into it and offer young people this opportunity, so both sides could benefit a lot from it. So I visualize, visualize this platform that creates this experience for young people where they have a volunteering that matches their talent. And then I came back to Israel and I was very pri privileged to meet Daniel and Yonatan, twin brothers that created two years ago a case study that is matching this case. Yeah, so what we did is after uh, we finished high school, I had a friend of mine that uh, went to do Shirut Lumi and he uh, volunteered in an elderly day center in Jaffa. And he came to us and said, listen, this day center has a lot of problems financially and it doesn't have a lot of activities there and maybe we can help them. And the first thing we said is we want to do something that, first of all, will be fun for us and will make us enjoy what we're doing. So uh, raising funds or charity wasn't something that we were interested in. And what we decided to do is to gather up all of our friends and start to make uh, and produce parties uh, for young people. And the incomes that came from those parties we managed for the elderly day centers. And we did various activities. We did uh, yoga classes, video classes, belly dancing classes uh, also. And uh, it uh, helped us engage young people that wanted to take part in social activity that, that was fun for them. And then we met Narkis. And we said that we want to wider our activities, and we decided of, uh, a, of initiating Zeze, which is a community organization of young people that develop themselves and the society simultaneously. What we do exactly is we create a community of young people that come to us and tell us what is their passion, what is their skill, what is their interest, and together we try to make uh, attractive social projects that each member in the community is assigned in the project according to what he told us. Uh, so for example, usually you can see an NGO that has a social cause and the volunteering is a mean in order to get this social cause. And for us, the social cause is the volunteering. We're doing the vice versa. For us, what's most important is the way of how you do the social, uh, and the social activity. It has to be fun, it has to be attractive, and it has to be according to your, social, uh, uh, to your natural abilities. And the social cause for us in our project can be uh, very, uh, very various, it can be, uh, we have street musicians, we have uh, young people, we have uh, elderly people, it can be, you know, everything. And uh, <laughs> now I'm going to show you a couple of examples of our activities. Okay, so our main strategy and the way we started our organization is to do parties. It's something that we are really good at and uh, all of our, we are a social enterprise so we don't raise charity, everything has a business model. And the way we have uh, seed investment to our projects is by parties. Um, so basically in our parties, in, um, except of uh, raising funds for our project, which is great, it also brings us the power of creating a community. So young people can come to our parties because they're good, they want to drink beer or dance or something, but then in our parties they're exposed to our activity so they said, oh, what is it about? And then they come to volunteer in a project and we actually have a few cases of people that just came to a party and then they became social entrepreneurs and are leading some of our projects, which, which is amazing. All of the parties are, um, the volunteers are creating the parties, decorating it, doing the music. 
We'll give you um, one example uh, quickly, the, how it looks like. Oh, we're playing a record. Um, yeah, we got it right oh, here. Good. Put it on now. <laughs> And uh, another example of how we engage people to our social projects. So one of our social causes is elderly uh, people. And we noticed that it's harder for us to engage young people to volunteer in these projects because uh, we, we did a little research and we understood that young people think that elderly people are not fun and not vivid and that's wrong. We know it's wrong. So we said we're going to um, do a campaign to enhance the engagement of young people in our social projects. So we did a few things. One of them is a, a Harlem Shake. A Harlem Shake was a viral thing people did on YouTube. I uh, will show you how it looks in a second. And that was a volunteering day that we brought young people from our community that are interested in internet and things in YouTube and in dancing. And they did it in the elderly day center. So you have young people that had fun and they did something for a greater cause. And then you had these uh, elderly people that had a lot of fun. And that was only one day. But after that, after they were exposed to one day, they became more committed. And some of them uh, volunteered in our projects, which has a, a larger commitment. So we'll just show you how it looks like for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. Uh, okay. All right. And the last example is uh, our biggest project until now. It's called the Street uh, Philharmonic. Uh, this project uh, unites street musicians that were scattered around all the city of uh, Tel Aviv into a professional orchestra. Its main aim seems to dignified and stable salary, was to give, to give them an honorable stage for the music, and also to expose this beautiful art of street music to uh, everybody in Israel and uh, to, the, to the public. And the story behind it uh, starts actually since our childhood. A lot of our uh, members in the community were born and raised in Tel Aviv. And since we were a child, we always uh, wandered through the streets and were always interested in how come there are these talented musicians playing in the street and what circumstances of life made them play in the street and not in an orchestra uh, or you know in the opera or whatever. And uh, when we created this day, we decided to go and engage those street musicians. And after talking with them, we understand that most of them did to Aliyah, and Aliyah to Israel at a pretty uh, matured age. And though they had a pretty dignified uh, music career in their origin countries, uh, they suffered for a hard integration phase in Israel. They didn't know the language, and the music industry is really close, and they found themselves <coughs> not wanting to lose their profession playing on the street. So we decided to gather them up uh, into a, an orchestra. And about 50 people of our community took part in this project and were behind it. Uh, each person did something according to his skills. There were people that were interested in music, so they were in, uh, in charge of the music producing of this uh, orchestra. We had people that were into marketing in the media, and they helped us to market this project. We had even an example of a friend of mine. His name is Raphael. He wasn't socially engaged in his life, you know, since I was a child. And his dream was to become a commercial director. This was his dream. And he didn't get a chance yet to do it because he was pretty young. And we told him, you know, you can be a commercial director for us. And uh, that's what he did. He made a good commercial for, for the street film. He had a lot of views. He gathered around himself about 10 more people that helped him to do the videos. And uh, through those uh, YouTube videos, uh, we got a lot of uh, people to come to the concerts. The, uh, the first two shows, two shows were uh, successful. We uh, were sold out. And uh, we kept going with this project now for a year and a half. Almost, uh, we sold almost 40 concerts until now. And uh, except from the salaries we are giving to the, to the musicians, uh, we are also generating profit that is seen money for new projects that we have. And uh, just to say one thing, that I think that the main reason because this project is, uh, is so successful is because it's not just one entrepreneur that is running the show. It's a lot of people, it's a whole community behind it that each person is doing you know, what he's doing best. And that's about it. Just a, uh, you know, a taste. You want to give them a taste of the ah, concert? Yeah, sure. Yes. So just a taste of uh, how the concert looks. But you'll have to come. <laughs> Um, 
So this was one example of our projects. We're starting working with women prisoners now and elderly people. Um, but in all of that, we're using the, the, our favorite quote, don't ask what the world needs, ask what makes you come alive and go do it, because what the world needs is people who have come alive. And we hope that the experience we create for young people that enables them to utilize their natural talent for a greater cause, uh, helps them to become alive and then uh, better citizens in Israel when they become adults. Thank you.